Hello and welcome to Real Weird Sickos. My name is Tom Video Girl. I hope you're having a fantastic day as we're starting a ripe roaring day with some great conversations with some great people. And I know who some great people are. My great friend, Mr. Charles Kant. Charles, what's happening in your neighborhood? Well, brother, let me tell you something, Tom. I am Charles Kahn, the masked bastard, working in memes and meme accessories. You know me. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, it and he, is he, what he's it is what it is. Anybody know what? You know who's exactly on the docket and knows what's happening. My good friend, Stu Jingles. Jen, what's up? Am I on the docket? Am I am I getting sued for something? What's going on? Why am I? Oh, no, why am a... I? You're saying docket, and that's making me very nervous. Oh, docket in, in Australia is a weird. <laughs> it, it, it's a euphemism for like, oh, like uh, the the receipt. We call it a docket as well. Oh, goddamn upside down talk again. Gotcha. Exactly. That's not exactly. a docket. You, you know who is always upside? He's right side. My good friend, uh, one of my favorite streamers of all time, Mr. Barry Bieber. Barry, what's happening, matey? Hey, what's up, dude? What's going on? Hey, everybody. hey, hey, it's good to Hello. see you. Good to see you. Boy, yeah, Barry, so glad you made it today. He's got a subathon like literally right after we're done. So, like, he's super duper sporty for for coming exactly. on today like this in a time what crunch. A pal. What a pal. So, yeah, yeah I mean, this was scheduled first. So I just scheduled around it. So it's my fault. exactly. <laughs> So I, I, I will say that this is a great companion piece to the VOD. Uh, so you go over to twitch.tv slash Barry Bebop to watch the full uh, subathon. And uh, Yo. Uh, well, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun because, you know, it's, it's, it's my friend. So what exactly, Barry. Barry, what's a subathon? What's, what's, because what, our friend uh, Night Docs did one and it was very successful. I was like, oh, this seems interesting. So it's, it's like an endurance thing. Is that, that what's going on? Yeah, so it's just anytime somebody subscribes, it adds time to a timer. And there's like all the streaming, you know, services that do alerts and stuff have timers that are built for that. So someone will sub and it'll add. I think for this, it's I think it's five minutes. I can't remember how the math is up, be, but so somebody still subs. Be killer. Like so five minutes can be yeah. like an eternity. Mm -hmm. Like would you if you've been streaming for like 12 hours, like five minutes is another eternity. Yeah, it. I've done a 24 hour before about a year and a half ago. So did we'll you see. stay awake the whole time or did you sleep? I was awake the whole time. Oh yeah. God. What a champion. What a champion. Well, Barry, we should, uh, I, I, I want you to summarize your streams. I think what, what is, if I go to twitch.tv slash Barry beep up, what do people see? I think that's a great, great point to jump off. Sure. Uh, I stream as a talking blue blackberry with a horrifying face of sorts that just yells really loud and kind of goes on to any comedic impulse I find funny, whether that's reading YouTube comments from pizza making tutorials or just just playing Jump King and being really, really bad at it. Uh, and Wait. just lots of visual effects and editing and things like that to round it all out. A lot of chat yeah. interaction too. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, a visual, it's a visual feast for the eyes. And as well, I, I will say... Uh, I think your channel, your YouTube channel, is fantastic. Uh, some of the videos on there mm -hmm. will always make me smile. It's it, the greatest content out there. Um, but that's a great, great point to jump from. You're also a YouTube editor, correct? Yes. Yes. So how uh, how, how do you get into that game? Uh, working for so, some big names. Yeah, I mean that's a kind of a cool story because it comes from the TCU community, actually. Right so, on. What? Yeah. So this I did not so, know. Yeah. So. I started listening to the podcast to the Creed Unknown when it kind of first unveiled. And that was obviously just a very cool thing to get, you know, behind the scenes and get to hear to, you know, talk some people I watched and listened to. And uh, Gray Graham from TCU. I don't know how active they are in the community now. Um, they're mostly off doing coding projects and education and stuff. But, um, but uh, fuck, I totally lost my thought. Oh, but uh, Matt knows them. And, they just one time sent me a DM because they knew I was looking for, I was working like a, like a full-time video editing recording job that's like more marketing based. It was, you know, it was what it was. But anyway, they just sent me messages like, hey, uh, Quackity is looking for an editor. And this was like two years ago. I was just like a call on Twitter. They just sent it my way. It's like, hey, Quackity's looking for an editor. I said, oh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll throw my hat in the ring. And usually the shit that 
I just kind of don't care about. I'm just like, ah, whatever. I'll just fill this out in five seconds rather than like pour hours over it. Mm-hmm. It's always the stuff that takes five seconds. That's always the stuff that works. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I just like oh, yeah. threw it's it together in like better, three seconds and like got a call. <laughs> it's a lot better to, to write from the heart and tell somebody like, hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. Hire me if you want to. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's it's how I've gotten the gigs. It's just like, here, here's who I am. Here's what I know. If you want to talk, if you need a guy who can go off about wrestling and Godzilla, like I, I'm your guy. Like I'll tell you all about Megalon and the eight people of the moon and all this crap. Like Godzilla Deep Lore goes real wild. Oh, goes on the plan. Absolutely. Well, like TCU community is actually really good for if you want to find somebody to do something that can do yes. something kind of Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. It's you know, I think it's. Like I found like one of one of my one of my editors your selfies got leaked is actually from there too. And then um I use Staffo for my thumbnails and everybody's like, "Oh, it's just like co- commentary community." No, I mean that was referred to me. <laughs> like I didn't I honestly didn't know who he was for like a really long time. And then I had him referred to me. So I think like a lot of people who, you know, like I found to do stuff, you know, including this including this podcast by the way exactly. people Yo. has come from that so yeah I mean, the uh, the fellow doing the graphics for my twitch stuff i met through uh people i met on create unknown like i just asked does. i was like yeah give me give me a name of somebody to use and they're like recommended me somebody so see how that looks out because it, the stuff i got back looked real good so we'll we'll see it's it's all very it's nice. all like gimmick stuff with the mask and, and i'd like to get into it with barry about the gimmick about the person sure. and persona oh. when where does that separate for you? Exactly. Do, do you look in the mirror sometimes and just imagine a giant cartoon berry? Yeah, it's. I don't know what you mean because that's just my everyday experience. <laughs> that's his face. That's what, like, are you trying to say like yeah. Charles? That's gimmick. mean. That's his face. Yeah, that's yeah. His we'll yeah there's never a time we'll when I don't the... have the mask on. What am I saying? There's no such exactly. thing as kayfabe. You're not a there's... mask. What? Yeah, versimilitude doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a yes. fancy word for kayfabe. Exactly. But yes, yes, the, the whole Vitsuba element, like, I think, I, I will say, uh, Barry, your 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 channel, I think, pushes the limit on Vtubing in the best way possible. Like, if anyone was going to get into the world of that, yours would be the greatest jumping off point because it's a great collision of kind of shit posting and Vtubing put together in such a, a fantastic way. Like, your community absolutely goes off the bat. Like, it's just an amazing trip, so... How, how, how have you been experiencing um, the VTubing scene, essentially? Oh, yeah. I, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I am, like, as far as the VTubing scene, I am not in it at all. Like, oh, fair. I'd never, like, seen a VTuber or done anything like that beforehand. I just knew about this program called Adobe Character Animator because Adobe is what I use. And so, like, three years ago when I was starting streaming, I was like, Hey, what if it was like a talking berry? <laughs> and <that was> <laughs> and I, I, VTubers only like, they've been going on forever, but it was only like, like I feel like a year or two ago at this point when they just like blew up on Twitter. Yeah. And then Absolutely. everybody got really mad that bigger YouTubers were like making VTuber rigs for fun as well. And that was when people started calling me a VTuber because before that, nobody used that term. Yeah. It was only uh, at that yeah. moment they were like, oh, you're a VTuber. But before that, I was just like a guy. Yeah. Uh, very, very frame, much like reference. digital puppeteering, like being able to look at the screen and see yourself and do the thing. Yeah, there's a little bit of an art to it. Absolutely, for sure. And and, and you've got the like a, like a higher level of mechanics. Like you've got the baseline of the facial <laughs> puppeteering, but as well as like the the different scenes, the different animations. Like, uh, I think you were talking about a previous stream uh, about uh, the process that goes into that because it's a lot of chat encoding as well. Like, it, how how's that process going? I describe all of my setup as like a Jenga tower that's been being built for three years. So like <laughs> the the bottom's almost fallen out. So there's a lot of cool shit in there, but none of it makes any sense. And it could fall over if you if you kick it at all. Um, <laughs> but like, yeah, so I mean, I just have a lot of random shit. And as far as the program I use, I use it to like its absolute base instinct level. Like there's people out there who are doing like real interesting things. There's like, there's even a plugin available where you can do chat interaction with it and all this stuff. And I just never get to it. Or I just think of some other dumb idea first. So it's like, I use this as its base level, but I just think, man, what if it, it would be funny if like the eyes were really big and if everything got really loud all the time, that would be really funny. And so <laughs> it works. I just, 
it works. Yeah. It fucking works though. <laughs> like it really does. It's just but impulse like, creativity. Like the very just, first uh, time I ever saw your Twitter profile, like <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, yes, yes. And it was like the, the eyes and the teeth, like it did it for me where I was like, okay, I, this is funny. Like Excellent. I need to see where this goes because this is fucking funny. So it works. Yeah. It works. It absolutely does oh, work. Yeah. And, and that's a great point to jump from. You, you previously just went to PAX West. I need to like, I think we should jump into the weirdness. What was the weirdest thing that you saw at PAX? Oh man, just like as far as like people or things, I don't know. Oh, PAX was pretty low. What was the most thing that catches weird? Anything, anything. That's just weird. What was the vibe? I had like? a really weird interaction with like, uh, Ooh. I had a really weird interaction with Mega64 Rocco. Just oh, very briefly. Yeah, I, I've had weird interactions with that guy too. Like he's kinda, <laughs> kind of a weird dude. <laughs> yeah. He was really, he's really funny, and it's not yeah. him. It's just me. Like, you know, I I did get to meet up with some creators, but I'm not really like looking to like glean anything from anyone. I guess, or like, I'm not. Yeah. Like, certainly, if I meet somebody who I'm a fan of, I'll certainly be nervous because I'm a, I can be a nervous guy. Yeah, but like, I'm not. I don't have anything to say. It would just be like, yo, you're cool. And so I just oh, saw yeah. that Rocco was there, and so I was like, hey man, I watch Todd Naren videos every year. They're awesome. And he was like. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. I was just like, all right, see ya. <laughs> I just walked off because I was like, this is like, I want to say something, but that's the only thing I could think to say. And then I just walked off and I was like, well, wow, that was about the best that could have done, I guess. <laughs> I just hey, you know what? That was him. fine because like, I, I can guarantee you he probably had people spurging on him like crazy. Oh, I so, it, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, when I, I, met, I, yeah. I can see doing, that happening uh, with him. They were doing a dance party thing at their booth. Like they were still, oh, they yes. were still selling yes, their own merch. Parties. Yeah, and then like I, 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 yeah. I come back by like the next day and was like, oh, this is just a gag that they do like all day. Okay, because I thought yeah. they were. Just I mean, doing he was that at the gag. merch booth. Yeah, they were selling their own merch. I like that. I like guys yeah. selling their own merch. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if Pax this- was super small, like this is the only one I'd ever been to. So yeah, polling yeah, that's what I want to know. Else. Like, what's what yeah. was the vibe like? Were people like on top of one another? Was it like a big thing? Was there? Was there that big gappy like back area that was just empty? Because that they always have that at Paxes. Yeah, there was definitely a big empty area, and it kind of pissed me off because people would just take pictures of that area and then complain online about Pax. Yeah, and they were just uh, being fucking dipshits. Like from what I could <laughs> gather, awesome. it was much smaller. But like I went just to hang out with friends who developed indie games, and yeah, I made that's, trailers that's for why the you games. Go to PAX. You go, go for oh, that really? Stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the move is to go and meet people because because you would go up to a booth like I said the the guy who made the game is standing there at the booth and you can play his game sometimes they'll be standing there like watching over you trying to see how you react but you can play their games yep. and talk to the guy like that's cool I, I like that being able to talk mm-hmm. to somebody and make friends with somebody like right there live uh, it's it's a yeah. weird yeah. experience playing somebody's game and having them like right there like doing the so what'd you think like. <laughs> You know, doing yeah. doing doing that stuff, and it's like, man, I just want to, I just want to check out the game, man. I don't want to answer yeah. questions yeah. about it, man. You don't want to <laughs> give them a detailed, absolutely sterling detailed review yeah. as to every single little glitch and what you thought. Yeah, because sometimes it's you just, just like, want to play. How dare you? Because there's stuff that I've played at, at, at trade shows like that that are very tech demo-y, where it's like, yeah. doesn't feel quite like there's a game here, but it feels like, okay, well, this is like puzzle game where you're recreating a whole new environment and everything looks all wiggly and it felt it felt kind of like the uh, the old intelligence cube where everything would flop over and you'd have to run from blocks and, and the guy kind of like was mean mugging me like so what'd you think and, oh, I, you know it's a puzzle game bud and i tried to get the hell away from him i felt so bad yeah uh, so that's wrong. but yeah yeah it's a it, it's a damn shame that pax australia didn't happen because yeah I, I love going to the indie section and just just getting to see all the new titles and happening it's 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 always kind of a festival but uh I, i'm glad that you got to uh to jump in and have some of that and uh your your pax west video was quite funny like that 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 is that is premier berry right Mwah, the chef's kiss thank you the, the uh, video was fun because the first games featured are like my friends games like the first games that i shit on like I was actually <laughs> one of the guys, like, for one of them, talking to people playing the game because he needed help. So I essentially oh, went to PAX you. to work like a four, like a forty-hour work week. It was awesome, but like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've I was just like shit on my friends' games. 
<laughs> Except hey. like I didn't, but it, you know, it was it was all love. It's all good. But hell yeah. yeah, yeah. Pax was I, a blast, man. Fucking hell yeah. It. Yeah, I previously worked for uh, Pax Australia as press, so I okay. know what it is working booths and stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah. yeah. But you're a champion, Maddie. I actually that's actually a great it's point. So, cool. so you you talked about working on trailers and stuff. Um, that is a, a, another another great topic. But you've also worked on music videos and um, your own music yourself. Tell me about that, champion. How's that? Uh, how's that world going? Because I, I oh, I've definitely put in some. Yeah, it's super fun, man. There's so much stuff that's like mostly done and not released, like videos and music wise. Most of it will drop. Well, everything that's planned will drop before the year's out. It just takes a long time. I was been working with a buddy of mine, and we made a song back in like March, and then he was like, "Hey, what if we made five songs?" It's like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a great idea. And then we made like the other songs and then he like traveled all summer and was fucking gone and I was gone at the same time. So we just recently, <laughs> like three weeks ago, got back together and was like, oh yeah, let's do an ad lib here. And like finally finished them up. <laughs> but dude, music's so fun and like the videos are so fun. That's like, you know, I do all shit posts and stuff, but music videos and, and stuff like that are kind of the time we're like, hey, by the way, like those are kind of for me more than anyone. And it's like, yo, I can show my production skills if I want to and just kind of just try to make something that's like, you know, I don't know, maybe a little outside of the realm of memes, even though it definitely still is, but kind of just show some chops. Yeah. But I, I do love uh, my life is poggers. My life is so poggers <laughs> and yeah. no kids and no babies. Yeah. That, yeah. that bangs hard. Hell yeah. Um, I wrote but- my life is so poggers when I was in a friend's chat. Shout out to Jobo <laughs> Toes Garden. And... <laughs> I said that phrase in his chat, and then I wrote the song in twenty minutes. <laughs> so, hold on. I gotta, I gotta write this down. <laughs> I wrote the song, and that was pretty much it. Got to be oh, careful man. about gags like that. The uh, the fellow from Warrant wrote that one on a uh, pizza box, the uh, cherry pie song. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh 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 shit! Listen, I love it. Welcome back. Nothing, to- nothing angers me more <laughs> than when that fucking song is brought up. Okay, like <laughs> what? Oh, oh anyway. yeah, I love it. I love that. Like a running joke outside of like the podcast. Like everyone knows that Jen hates cherry pie. It's just it's it's gold. It's just a chef's kiss gold. It's it's, it- it's a gold fucking turd. <laughs> Even if it's gold, it's still a fucking turd. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But yes, um, I, I, I cannot think of uh, Barry Stream uh, when I'm hearing, sorry, I cannot hear uh, Barry Stream playing when I play Lemon Twist in, yeah. in like on Spotify, you just immediately like, oh, that's stream time. I hear the splash screen. It's yeah. just, it, it's, but I will say, what's some weird stuff that you know? What's some stuff that we not might know? But what's some weird stuff that you know, my good friend? Oh, dude, I was trying to think of like <laughs> this question like just general weird things and like i don't think i'm really i don't know i don't know if that many you weird were things literally a, a disembodied floating <laughs> berry head how do you not know anything weird i don't know man uh fuck. Well, how about how about we talk about the christmas string the uh the little fitbit how oh sure about, yeah yeah yeah. How'd that go? How, how, like, give everyone a rundown of uh, the, the Christmas stream as uh, you put up ornaments. Sure. Yeah. I thought it'd be really funny to, you know, YouTubers and people have people mail stuff to them and they just open it as a video. And I, I think that's a really fun format, you know, because it's very, like, you know, it's very physical. It's in your face and it's always a surprise. You never know it's what's like going to be. It's a bad unboxing. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Bad unboxing and Super Mega does really good uh, mail videos. Their editing is fucking God tier. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. And uh, I just thought, hey, I don't remember how I, most of my ideas just are like, I'm just like doing the dishes. <laughs> I'm just like, and they just kind of hit me in the face or I just like see something. Like I'll just like look at my bathroom sink and then be like, oh man, what if people mailed me Christmas ornaments? <laughs> like, it just happens like that. And uh, I was at the store and uh, at most uh, things, most of my ideas are really last minute. So I'm like at the store, like the, I put way too much time into this, like IRL streams, like, like tens and tens of hours for like, you know, making like 50 bucks, but it's still pretty fun. And I was at like a furniture slash holiday store. And I just saw this little bird looking thing there for like eight bucks. And I was like, I got to buy that. <laughs> I got to have, <laughs> oh, yeah. have it and give it a name. And 
make everybody empathetic to it. And so I just, I said, this is a little Fitbit and I put him on the table and now he just sits in my living room and hangs out. And then a I legend. taped a penguin to a wall too. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the stuff that people sent you was borderline insane. Like, uh, yeah. was it, it was the, the blobbed old Judy, correct? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. The person who that sent me that spicy. told me. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's like the lowest. You can't, you can't even call it like a sex doll, though, because it's just an inflatable, like, naked woman with no nipples or pussy or anything. It's just like, there there it is. For like so was $5. it like from Japan or something? Since like Japan like blurs <laughs> out so. like all the good shit in their porn. That's weird. That is weird. No, but it's then like it's just like, like a Barbie thing. Gag- so there's, there's, no there's no holes? No, there's not a sex doll. If there's no holes, it's not a sex doll. It's exactly. just a, it's just a, a not a naked, naked device. woman. Yeah, it's a flotation yeah, device. Yeah, it's go. like for airplanes. Yeah. <laughs> In the yeah, case of mercy, that was blow up the woman underneath your chair. Let's, I had uh... a... <laughs> yeah, please, please blow up, please blow up Judy under your chair and rest on her as you float along the Pacific Ocean. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yes, you, you, you've, this is now two years as, on the channel uh, as of this recording. We're uh, going into the sub uh, subathon. What, no. Looking back on the last, oh, is it two? Uh, was two point one or two? No, it's three. It's three years. Three. three. Oh my god. Three. Yeah. That's an old man. Time yeah. flies. Exactly. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. But yes, looking back at the last three years, what uh, what are some memories that stand out to you? Oh man, I think uh, I think doing my big. I've only done like what? Well, no, I did two. I did two like charity streams last year, and the, like the last year I did one 24 hour charity stream, and I was recently rewatching like a highlight video that I made for that, and that oh. was a really good time. That was like some jump king and screaming the uh the the treasure planet song. <laughs> but like, you know, Which, what's song, the treasure like, planet song? Yeah, it's like by the guy who's from the Goo Goo Dolls, and it's like, I want a moment to be real, <laughs> want to touch things <laughs> I don't feel. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, <laughs> well, it's like there's only one way to get people to know it. Uh, <laughs> man, mm. there's this game by this guy named like Samir Khatib called Giraffe Town. And one time I bought it on Steam for like a few dollars and like just months and months later, I finally played it. And you just, you just end up at, by the end of the game, you're a giraffe with this fucking huge pistol, like shooting this monster that has penises for hands. Whoa. And it's, it's kind of like, it's the worst game that I've ever played. And I like, love it so much. It's awful. I fucking it actually, love it. I it hate actually it. sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> Giraffe Town, okay. Giraffe Town. Giraffe yeah. with dick hands, like can shoot. Wow. The, no, the giraffe doesn't have dick hands, but the final boss does have dick hands. Oh, the fi- okay. So you're yeah. the giraffe, and the yeah. final boss has dick hands. You ever and seen that movie? Uh, I got dick hands. You see? I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I know. I know. Jen would have seen this one. It's called Edward Penis Hands. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the funniest things anyone's ever shown me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh-huh. He, he shoots yeah. pool. Mm-hmm. But the, but his hands are penises. Yep, it's beautiful. And he looks kind of just... like, sort of like the, the like spirit of Halloween. Absolutely most off, god awful outfit of Edward Scissorhands you've ever seen. Like it, it's so bad. It looks like some. It looks like somebody's going to PAX and they're doing like really really <laughs> shitty like lazy ass cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Edward that's Peterson. what you have, and that's what you know. What I just like it, it. it but Edward Penis, it's 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 a piece of uh, American cinema that we need to. Um, I'm gonna yeah. have to check this out. So yeah, are you his, are. Like, are his hands? Is his entire hand like a dick, or his fingers? It's, po- like it's a porn parody. Dicks. It's a porn parody. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, Edward Scissorhands oh, replaces you- scissors with penis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, you got it- yourself. Edward Penis. Man, like, if only they could have got. They Vincent have so much Price. fun, dude. It really should have been penises for each finger, but they're all just like full dicks. Just full. That's dicks. bigger budget. They're full. It's a bigger dicks. budget for that. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you can get two big dicks or like ten small ones, and all the small ones are smaller. That's more royalties you got to pay out. So that's got <laughs> to be heavier. It's got to be yeah. heavier to carry around five dicks on your hand. At, yeah. on each hand, as opposed to like. Five pairs of scissors, and you got to keep track of who they are. That's got to be like okay. So what about like 
when they're like limp? Like, what do they look like when they're limp? Are they all circumcised? What happens when oh, they shit. all get hard? Are they all perpetually hard? These and, like, are the questions that I have. Does he use his hand better or not? Like, does mm. he need to like, like, let's say that he wants to be like a karate master. Well, he's going to have to be really, really on to like <laughs> chop anything. Yeah. You know, like he's going to have to be like hard mentally, but also just like hard, I guess, everywhere. Cause that, cause it's, you know, so much of his body is more penis per capita than most people. He could people. certainly gouge some eyes out. Yeah. But would yeah. that hurt him because they're penises? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. it's like, if That's somebody, his greatest like, weakness. If, if he's trying to like karate chop somebody and they like, they like, they like block it by like using their foot. Right. <laughs> well, see, like, you, you would and, think. And, and it gets kicked all the way across and it's like, like uh. fucking five penises get like. <laughs> fucking just smacked out right there wouldn't that hurt like hell like that oh, that absolutely. life sounds very painful to me and it <laughs> sounds like not a life that i would want to live mm. and there's no bones it's just all it's all meat so it, it's just gonna it's oh my lord it's yeah, he's got like an extra he's, he's kind of got like a leg up on spider-man though as far as like projectile <laughs> ability you know <laughs> like more more streams than just one from yeah. his wrist oh. I, I wonder uh, if his karate is like all elbows or if his balls are on his elbows. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, like, num like <laughs> nunchucks or something. Like, that's yes. what he uses. Yes. Cum chucks. Yes. A couple of cum chucks. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I, we just came up with a sequel. I think Absolutely. I think we got to shut this podcast yeah, down so we can write the rest of these ideas. <laughs> Edward Penis Hand movies. Yeah. How, how, how did those not, like, shoot off into, like, a lot of uh, sequels? Because, yeah. you know, porn, porn has, like, a million sequels for shit. Why don't they just make up, like, their own storylines and keep it going? Oh, wow. They did do Edward Penis Hands 2. <laughs> Edward Penis Hands Goes Hawaiian. No. Oh, no. no. I'm no. looking at Beautiful. the cover of it now. He's back, and he has something, and he has, and has he got something up his sleeves? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. This, there's balls. multiple parts. It's balls. <laughs> There's the best get, of Edward Penis Hands. They couldn't the get fuck? the story out. They couldn't get all the storyline out in Edward That's Penis That's really hands. sad. Don't, yeah. you, don't you hate it? Don't you hate it when, like, a whole franchise dies with the sequel? They can't even yeah. finish up with a third? That's that's sad. Because that, that means you know, you know Ghost of Hawaii had to be absolute horseshit then. Oh, my God. I'm looking, yeah. I'm looking at these. And Once you like go Hawaiian, one. it's hard to go back. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't it going Hawaiian the whole uh, uh, oh my what's his God. name Beetlejuice? I, that was the, the fake. Yep. So the the sequel to that was uh, so Beetlejuice that's goes Hawaiian. Supposed to still be in production. Last I heard, oh, Jesus uh, Christ. yeah, they had actually gotten Tim Burton and they had gotten um, they gotten uh, uh, yeah Batman. They got Batman involved. Uh, I can't Michael Keaton. They got him. <laughs> so they're they're gonna Wait. go Hawaiian. <laughs> Oh I don't know. God. I don't know what the uh, when that's supposed to come out or what the plan is. And that that was right around the time that Michael Keaton started to get heat again. Oh Michael yeah. Keaton, Michael Keaton yeah. had what like twenty years of just like ah, I'm tired of being super famous. I'm just gonna do what I want to do. I'll play and FBI then... agent in movies and, and he, uh, like multiplicity. Like like wasn't bad, but it wasn't really like big hit movie, was it? Like was that like a big hit what? movie? I don't even know what the fuck I, I that is. Oh, multiplicity. Jen, let me tell you about the movie Multiplicity. Is that the, is that the clone one? It's the clone one. That's right. I'm looking Harold at it. I saw that in school. Oh, my God. What is this? Yeah. This is, that was in high this, this is the definition of fucking off and doing whatever the fuck you want. It's a Harold <laughs> Ramis movie. So Harold Ramis, after, oh, okay. after, yeah, after Ghostbusters, after Groundhog's Day, this was what he come up with was this clone movie, and he plays the doctor in the movie. He, I believe he wrote and directed it too. It's uh, uh, so Michael Keaton is a guy who clones himself so that he would have more time to do stuff, and then he decides to get a second clone to help him do more feminine stuff around the house because, like, the one clone is like super macho and tough guy, and so the other one is very feminine and, and, and like way into cleaning, and it's like a Bert and Ernie kind of thing. And then those two clones decide that they need help, so they go and get cloned. And the clone is a moron. It's mm. very it's, yep. yeah. So he has three clones. It's very funny to me. That's that's so a it's very basically funny. basically just like the Treehouse or Treehouse of Horror <clears throat> of the Simpsons, where like Homer is cloning himself, but they're all like dumber like every yes. time. You would love yeah. this movie, Jen. This is a very funny movie. <laughs> I would love this movie. Yes, Harold I was going to say because because it's a lot of Michael Keaton like playing you know different characters with himself. 
So it's a lot of the yeah. green screen, like uh, uh, what, what do they call that? Where they uh, where you layer somebody in on top of it? What, what is that called? Oh, it's King. Yeah, you, they've been keyed, come keyed in. Yeah, so they've keyed in like Mike. Yeah, you've keyed in Keaton. So it's it's four <laughs> Michael Keatons all talking to each other and interacting, and each one what is very the? distinct from the other one. So like the one that's a moron. Says, hey guys, how we doing? Yeah, like he's just a complete moron. The other one's very feminine, like, hey there, how you doing, guys? Like, he's very, like, prissy and, uh, uh, you know, obsessive compulsive almost. Like, he's just, uh, you know, like like Ernie from Bert and Ernie. He's that kind of character. And then, and then the other one's just, uh, you know, p- pure, like, hey, I'm sitting here eating my chips and going to watch the game. I just realized something. I think uh, Justin Roiland paid that with the House of Cosby. Yes. And then, and then that led Sweet to all House the other protests. House of Cosby is slow. I feel like and that's that like, to, yeah. I heard they got sued like, over that. That Cosby was mad at him over doing the House of Cosby's thing. Yeah, I think the series got taken down. But yeah, it's yeah. it's surreal from a weird Michael Keaton film to House of Cosby's to Rick and Morty yeah. to Adult Swim, and that that that's like some seven layers of fucking shit posting on that one. The Rick that's and like Morty some, pipeline takes us all. Yeah, you'd be <laughs> surprised how far you can get with stuff. Uh, yeah. That's, Actually, I feel like that's a trope, like the clone thing. I don't know if mm. multiplicity, like when it came out, because it's like, because oh. any point. kind of like kid shows or other shows where there's like any element of like any like fantastical element, the that clone drama like happens. Like there's always yeah. like a oh I wish I could be two places at once, and it always goes wrong. Like I, I've been watching like a bunch of kids shows and stuff that like I grew up with, and like that trope plays out. So I'm wondering like. Ooh. Is multiplicity the one that made that trope, or you know, so was there something before there that? Are, you know? there, yeah, there were other clone stories before that, okay. for sure. Yeah, like, there's a famous but Canadian I, cartoon that was all about uh, a guy cloning himself. That was pretty good. That came out in, like fuck. the 80s or 90s. Like that was a okay. much older one. We're cracking the wrong because I know that something very similar happened to uh, that on Gravity Falls. Uh, the cloning yeah. kind of the the, yeah. the, the the degradation of the yeah, clones. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a good show. trope. The cloning thing. Well, yep. but uh, Barry, if you I, could clone I, yourself, would you clone yourself? Have have two absolutely. berries? I mean, it's, I think I would do it under the the pretense that when it all goes wrong, it all ends up being okay at the end of the credits roll. <laughs> exactly. Here, here's the question <laughs> nice I wrap have: up one. If you yeah. kiss your clone, d- d- is that it, what? What does that make somebody? Is that make them clone sexual? Like, what is what? If you make out with your clone, I think it's called narcissism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's the the most extreme form of narcissism. If, if Would you call that any, a fetish? If, since if it's there you? was Maybe. any visual representation of narcissism, that would yeah. be it. That I would be the best way to go. Mirror. You making out with your clone or possibly yeah. doing more. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how fucking into yourself you're into. Mm. A real mirror match. That's, uh, yeah. that's, that's, the, that's the highest form of mirror match. Yeah, some yeah. people yeah. get way into themselves. Oh, but, wow. Uh, a great front from cloning to code. How was your code Miko experience? I know. I think that's. I think that that's one video that blew up quite a lot. It was uh, you uh, and Code Miko having a, a cheeky chin wag on stream. And uh, how did that go, Matty? Oh man, that couldn't have been better. That was awesome. Uh, it was. Yeah. It was. Uh, you remember how we talked about like last minute stuff? That was yeah. those one of those. <laughs> so like. In the beginning of the year, in like February, she was like, hey, I'm trying to get streamers to do like a dating, like I'm trying to get small streamers for a dating show thing, kind of like the Austin show type shit, but like for mm. Code Miko. And I was like, oh, this is like, this is what I need to do. I need to jump on this. And so she had people send in applications and she started reading them on stream. And and I relate to this because I'm like this way on broadcast, but she's just like, you know, part of how she plays her character is like super uh, like gets distracted all the time. So she'd get through like three applications in like 20 minutes and she had like hundreds of them. So it was like, <laughs> she's never going to make it through all of this. And I stopped, I stopped like paying attention. Cause I was like, if I keep waiting to see if she reads mine, like I'll never like live my life. And so, and eventually she like posted a video that was like, meet my, meet my like boyfriend or something. And it was like another V tube type. I don't know if that was like a real, I think it was somebody she was actually seeing at the time i'm not entirely sure but whatever like she posted a youtube video about it so i was like okay so she just gave up on that concept (laughs) Um, (laughs) but then uh late june i think uh she said hey i'm gonna feature small streamers and interview them you know if you want to jump aboard go ahead and i saw that and was like no i'm not gonna do that i've like worried about these like big creator things before and i'm just gonna focus on myself and my make my own thing and let that speak for itself and then 
some some uh, friends in my Discord were like, "Hey, did you see this? Did you see this?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it." And you know, as soon as I said that, and three people said, "Hey, you should do it," I was like, "I'll just I'll just jump in the VC, you know, in the <laughs> server because it's just like open. People can just wait there." And so wow. I was there super early for before the broadcast, like 30 minutes early. And then before it started, before she started streaming, I got pulled into a private room. And what I realized is that meant I had been screened and been good to air. It was like Whoa. I was somebody who was okay to go. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck's going on? And then like I went and like ran and fucking grabbed a beer or something, like chugged it because I was like, I, I can't, I'm too, I'm, too, <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too stressed. I'm too nervous, uh, which is a super good uh, thing to do when you're nervous is just do that. No, but um, I was just like, I don't have a way to calm these nerves. And uh, I was, I lost focus for a second. And then all of a sudden I hear, hello, hello. <laughs> and, I, and my first instinct is to just, hello, <laughs> just, <laughs> just yell back. And uh, I was really nervous, but, you know, the benefit of, you know, outside of lore or whatever, not being able to, you know, see me is that even if I'm nervous, you can't entirely tell, like you can't kind of, but uh, yeah, we had Probably a good, uh, we had a good time. We had good chemistry. Couldn't have gone better, you know? Um, and it's been a good thing to, you know, it's been a cool thing for me. Like now people have been like, oh, you were on Nico. Like, that's what I, that's mm -hmm. That's what I get now. Is You're like, that oh, you guy Mika. that was on. Yeah. 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 And you were the, the first, first one. person. The yeah, very exactly. first one. Yeah. So it was like super weird and cool. <laughs> yeah. I also had a friend jump on too. My friend Hero 19X, he got on too. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was, I mean, I'm super glad it happened. It was great. And, you know, it's been a good thing to say the least. Oh, terrific. It was yeah. definitely cool. And it was entertaining because you made that whole interaction <laughs> entertaining because i mean otherwise it would have just been kind of like okay but you you know yeah. like you rolled with it though yeah absolutely and the crowd loved you because the, the the crowd kept adding time uh to the interview and it was it was such a great time because yeah. you, you, you it was definitely the, the terminology of improv it was just like bouncing off bouncing off bouncing off and it was such a such a fun yeah. time just watching it <laughs> and say like oh and then you you hit you hit your groove and then like oh smooth sound yeah a fun song the, I was trying to predict because in the Discord, like it said, hey, Miko will roast you. And from all the <laughs> interviews, like Miko definitely like does that for like the bigger creators and stuff. I could tell during a trend to her interviews, I think she was a little kinder because like she's bringing people on who a lot of them are nervous to be in front of such a big platform. And like I was too. But, you know, she would certainly make jokes. And I was like, man, I need to have like I was trying to think of responses. I was like trying to pre plan like to just be on my feet. Like what's something funny I can say if she says this or that. And the only thing I could think of was like some people messaged me and they're like, hey, we we got so mad when she called you ugly. And I was like, are you kidding? Of course she was going to call me ugly. That was the only <laughs> thing I could predict she was going to say. <laughs> so that was the immediate only comeback I had was, was for her calling me ugly. It worked out because, it, you know, there you, knew went, that but... you knew she was going to go there. Yeah. I mean, it's easy. It's I mean, I am <laughs> like that's the whole appeal. <laughs> oh, damn. I wouldn't yeah, say you... ugly. I would definitely say yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, distinct. Distinct. Yes, there you go. Unique. That's exactly it. Absolutely. Unique and wonderful. You have very distinct saw. features. Uh, yeah, that's what my mom says, too. <laughs> oh, I'll say <laughs> very <laughs> unique. I think, yeah. I think yesterday, yesterday when I jumped on stream and you started with the dream shit and the boy the masters, <laughs> and I fucking died. So... <laughs> For a bit of context, so Barry, Barry who started the stream, I jumped in and said hi, and the first thing he had was uh, <laughs> the dream mask on his, on the Barry face, and just started seeing the dream song, and I could hold together, I break down, <laughs> it is, <laughs> and then the mountain shit, fuck me. It's a catchy song, man, I can't, Absolutely. it was like 10 minutes before, I was like, hey, what if I added the dream mask? <laughs> <laughs> so. That was the whole, and everybody hates it when I you do it. So it's really uh, fun. It's fucking best, man. It's the best yes. song I've ever heard in my life. So for YouTube, <laughs> is is there anything else that you want to do with your YouTube that's kind mm. of like outside of streaming? Yes. That's like the big, I mean, because I feel like the current YouTube meta is, well, not even feel like this is what it is. It's make a Twitch stream, make a highlight of it. The highlight eventually gains traction on YouTube, which brings people back to the Twitch stream and it bounces off forever. And then you're Tommy in it or somebody. That's um, uh, the Ludwig method. The Ludwig method. The what? The, the, Lud, the Ludwig method. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's, a self, it's a feeding loop. It goes back to each other. Exactly. And it, and it makes total sense because like Twitch as a whole 
like I've seen some growth recently from Miko and from getting to know some other creators. Um, but Twitch as a whole, like, first of all, Twitch is still super niche. Like, I don't know mm. if you ever like remember the first time you went on Twitch and it's even more complicated than now, like bits, channel points. What are all these, what, what is all this text that's just sitting in the corner? What is all, all this gobble, gobbledygook? Yeah. And it doesn't even for somebody who like is other. on YouTube all the time. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. No. And Absolutely. there's no like, like Twitch recommended. It seems to be a little better. Um, now like just a hair but even then at my size it's like one person every other week will be like you were in my recommended it's like oh cool well awesome <laughs> but well, that's um, kind of YouTube, neat <laughs> yeah i mean uh vtuber is the only tag that i use ever since twitch added it that people find me through by search so that's kind of wow. cool which makes that's sense awesome. absolutely yeah wow. but um but yeah i mean youtube is kind of one of those things to like i like i have so many ideas and i just get like overwhelmed and yeah. i just like oh, don't yeah. finish videos and so yeah. it's kind of more of and i know all these different avenues to do youtube like you could mm -hmm. do stream highlights or like my fucking jumping around in the field videos or just any other random shit and what do you want to do that's that's the journey <laughs> i'm that's still the trying to going, figure gosh. that out i was having the, my buddies at pax like they're game creators and and one of the guys who's there too is the guy who does lemon twist the musician why future but we were just like talking about content and where we're all going. And it was cool to be with people in that mindset. But yeah, I have all these ideas and I have all these like avenues that I can go down and watching all those other creators. But even like those are all out there. But because I haven't made a lot of those videos, I can't work th like what I want out until they're out there. If that makes sense. You know what? You know what? I was told by somebody that we um, were talking about before we started recording. Mm -hmm. And he told me, um, well, sitting around and trying to figure it out is not just doing it. So just do it. Yeah. Because yeah. Honestly, think, the hardest video, the actual hardest video to get out is like the first one. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. want to know that they've written a book, but people don't want to write a book, essentially. And at That's the point, At yeah. some point, you just have to give up like this perfection in your mind. Yeah. Because you have built up in your mind like what you want visually, editing, jokes, gags, timing, and you can't literally hit everything that you want. So at some point you have to compromise to get it out a little bit. I mean, you could have you could have a good product, but at the same time, there are some things that you have to give up in order to get it out. Otherwise, you never get a video out ever. True, Absolutely. True. Absolutely. I mean, it's that way for any like any of your favorite movies were on a budget. Yeah, exactly. you know, you, like you gotta live it up to get it out. Yeah. And some of the best things about that movie are probably because it was on a budget. Exactly. Like, uh, you know, yeah, it's the pressure it's the makes diamonds. Yeah, pressure absolutely. makes diamonds. And and I want to bring up there's a uh, there's a Japanese architectural design philosophy called wabi sabi that is very Ooh. much that. It's the wasabi. It's <laughs> wabi sabi is what is what it's called. <laughs> no, I know what it is. Yeah, it's the idea of. You know the imperfections of something are what people are able to uh, to sort of look at and go, oh yes, this is a very real thing. It's why uh, mm -hmm. you look at the old Star Wars from the '70s and you see those special effects. And go, oh man, look at those spaceships. Look how real this is. Like this is this feels so good. Then you watch the ones that they remade in the '90s and the 3D like cartoon special effects just don't. It doesn't feel real. It's that mm -hmm. sort of thing. It's why people don't like uh, you know CG like your your computer generated cartoon uh, uh hulks versus lou ferrigno like lou ferrigno is a real guy that they painted green as just a big dude throwing bums and junkies around every episode of the hulk show and then i watch the ang lee hulk and it's just like well, this is a big cartoon that's not exactly. a good movie you, you need the that's human element movie. essentially yeah absolutely yeah and, and i think tactile real absolutely and i think barry you know that from spirit the, the code miko stuff and the stuff that just comes off the cuff like that stuff is yes. the most natural. It's the first impulse. Like yeah. uh, I, I think one of my favorite videos of, of recent memory is the the prank calling the Twitch uh, Twitch streamers one, yeah. and then mm -hmm. you doing the bus element. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, the, <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I think of it, it's one of the fucking funniest goddamn shit in the world. Yeah. It's um, it took, uh, again everything links in the description. But Barry calls up some of his Twitch friends and prank calls them. <laughs> And then he, he goes <laughs> oh to a bus <laughs> <laughs> I, Well, I, uh, 
so I I uh, was really behind on work, and normally I stream with my friend Hero on Tuesdays, and I bailed, and I was like, oh, I gotta work. And I was like, you know what I could do, though? I think I told him beforehand, I was like, hey, just leave your line open, like, leave your Discord notifications, like, on, so you can hear me when I call. And so I just called him, and he was playing Phasmophobia, so I was like, hey, I'm a ghost. And then uh, <laughs> I got on something about, like, I died in a bus crash. <laughs> And it just like went from there. And he's like, but so you're a ghost in prison. It's like, oh, I drove the bus or some shit. I can't even remember. But I did that one. And then I started editing it. And I was like, I need more phone calls. So then over the next two weeks, actually, no, no, it was one other night. I found four other friends who were live and called them all the same night. I was like, I'm just going to record all this right now. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a good time. If, you know what? It's like, I, I have a friend who says that. Everything's a content. Mm. It's, 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 <laughs> and I think that's the, the true nature of Twitch. It's like content it was like that. It's like you're making the most organic stuff, like the off the fly stuff. It's just, it works. And yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm watching the video without audio and I can still hear your voice about the Sonic <laughs> cup. And, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but yes, what's the future of Barry Bebop? What is the future of Barry Bebop? Like, let's, let's talk about the string because, yeah. you know, Subathon off this, what's next step? Yeah, I mean, all the music's going to drop and, you know, I think one thing that's always a worry is like, I think you see this a lot with creators is they do a variety of things until they kind of find a niche that works and also they kind of realize the niche is what works or like a format. And then, you know, if they're so lucky when they get big enough, they can break out of that as well and then diversify again. And so kind of talk about like making content is like I need to make more variety of things to figure out what that is. So like I'm kind of in this spot where I don't quite know what like anything is like i don't i i couldn't tell you what i'm gonna stream next week like <laughs> like i don't even know that's actually but... kind of cool like that's that's <laughs> that's that's not bad that's actually pretty cool because i think sometimes i know with me like some of the best ideas are the ones that just kind of like pop up when you're not thinking about it absolutely absolutely is that how it is for you where it's just kind of like yeah that would actually be kind of cool if i if i said or did this you know yeah, I mean, most of my like most popular things, a lot of them, like as far as memes in my stream, are from like a spur of moment, a spur of the moment idea that made me two hours too late to stream. Like, no kids, no babies was an entire like I was two hours late to a like a live stream weekend that I was doing because I had the idea for that song, so I just made it like that morning. I was like, ah, shit, I'm two hours late, but this is really funny. And now there's like a whole music video out of it, but. The journey going forward is figuring out how to balance planning and improv together. Cause like, I think I work best under an improv environment. So like, rather than planning everything out, like maybe a Ludwig a la something like that is mm -hmm. trying to trying to find a way to build a box where funny can happen and then making videos around that. And then, you know, other cool yeah, shit like guys, music that's or something gift. That's the the so to be able to, yeah. Yeah, I think like it to be able to be funny live like that and yeah. think of shit on a whim. That's that's truly a gift. So having done a little improv on stage and stuff like that, people have yeah. you, you'll find that people have characters and things that they can go to to draw from that. Well, things that they know are funny. Like if you mm -hmm. watch a Robin Williams routine, you'll see him start doing like goofy voices and silly jokes and things that he's he knows works that he can pepper in along with. I'm just going to take a swing here and see if this works. Like, let's go for it. Like, I don't know. We're out in the weeds. We're trying to find gold. Maybe this will work. Maybe it'll be just the cringiest thing ever. I don't know. Yeah. And, and it's that's like the fun of improv. Yeah. Exactly. Or not, and not even that, because it's obviously Robin Williams was quality. But like, yeah, he's the guy. Content. It's like yeah. playing content roulette. Yeah. 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 It's and a great thing. And that's the best thing. stuff comes out. And then, and, and I mean, over time, you know, whatever, you know, your 10,000 hours, which, you know, you hear that all the time. But I mean, that's generally true. Like, oh, you do yeah. a thing a bunch, like you might be good at it after you do it all that time. And like, yeah. this is true, you know, so like, I don't know, yeah. you know, going live for three years, like it certainly helps. And then just figuring all that out or going on stage. Jesus, going on stage, like brave souls, man. Anybody, oh, yeah. Anybody for who does sure. that, like such a big for sure. respect. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it's like, uh, it, it takes getting out there and doing it to really make ground. It's uh, I think I, I'm I'm very much susceptible to that thing of uh, planning and then not making. So I think this uh, I think 
I think Matthew Tabor will be very, uh, very pleased to hear that, uh, you know, the advice is finally spreading out to the, the out universe of TCU. Well, he, he said it enough where yeah. it's not just like an about time pleases thing. It's more like a, I fucking told you. So <laughs> I don't, I, why are you, why is this just dawning on you now? Like I've been <laughs> telling you this for how fucking long. That's more the reaction you'll get from him. Fucking yeah. Sumeto was saying the same thing as well. It, uh, uh, two seven, uh, seven out of ten videos is better than one eight. That's the whole right. concept. Is like, right. yeah, oh. and and remember, it's like you know, and and don't worry about what you know. If you don't have a big following yet, who are you going to disappoint? Your zero fans. Yeah. See, this is something that I keep saying is that you want to have as many at bats as possible because you don't know when you're going to get a hit. Yeah. You yeah. want to take as many yeah. swings as possible, even if you're swinging real wide. If you're just hitting. Like absolutely nothing, and it just goes nowhere. Keep taking swings because eventually you'll get a hit. Whether it's a base run, whether it's a triple, or whether it's that grand slam that wins the game, and everybody goes, "Oh man, this you know you you pranked Ice Cube like at a boy." Now you've done it. <laughs> like you, once you get something that you can glom onto, that is your hit. You know that's that's what you're looking for. You want you want to keep swinging. Yep. Exactly. That's right. That's right. And I, never stop never stop swinging yes. never exactly. stop never settle if you exactly. build it they will come <laughs> yes the ball keep the in balls baseball will keep, the, they the will balls come. will keep flying at your face just keep swinging keep fighting with your penis hands and eventually you'll get a victory <laughs> in one of these days <laughs> right. that's Perfect. fantastic but yes yes i i will say if you're looking for some of the the most entertaining content out there youtube.com slash berry bebop twitter.com hey. Slash Barry Bebop Boy and Twitch.tv slash Barry Bebop. I I I I say this to all of my friends. I I I'm waiting. It, it it won't take three more years. It won't take three more years for people to know the name Barry Bebop globally because you you just too entertain. You're too damn entertaining. You 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 have mm -hmm. the one of the greatest. He's been saying he's been saying this for a while. By I the know. way, so this isn't this is not bullshit. Like Tom's been saying this for as long as I've known him. So Tom has yeah. been very kind to me for a very long time. <laughs> hey hey, I, I like to. A lot of people these days don't get to hear the positive things that are said about them, and it's 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 it damn need improving. Like we need to. Hey, I love you. I love you. I love you. But I will say the YouTube channel. If you're looking for the greatest jumping off point into Twitch. Go there, check out all the content there. It's uh, the prank one is fantastic, but the Christmas the Christmas episode I like to call it is just gold. <laughs> it's, yes. it's gold, uh, and I like, Barry's I like the Christmas adventure. Exile, <laughs> and, and the fully edited stuff like the slapping bit, the, the belly slaps that the uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my mom is moving is still to me stuck in my head. I can know it's, it's the, the, the oh, paint. That's that's so funny oh my god <laughs> snake scale I, I watched the paint thing again the other day i was like what the fuck is this? <laughs> so but like, it sticks to mud it's just great <laughs> it's like what the last of us <laughs> part two the last of us <laughs> part two dude thank you but so yeah. much man yeah but I, I i i know the world we get to see you bs um uh twitch.tv slash baby bop uh I, I think as of this recording barry is about to jump into the subathon very shortly and do uh that so go in there and watch the vod i, I or you'll definitely see me they happen to be a cheeky chin wag because uh i'll never miss barry stream uh what is there anything on the horizon that you would like to give a heads up because i know wifey future that stuff's coming out uh so that's coming out the tail end of the year yeah yeah so i mean a lot of music out later this year and if you see me coming up with youtube videos and that means that uh i i took all the advice that we laid out right here. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. take the advice. You heard, you heard that here first when he's like half a million subs. Exactly. When he hey. blows up, you can come back here. Um, yeah, we're awesome. uh, see, I'm pitching course. this guy blowing up bigger than that. I see t-shirts. I see movies. I, I, do, see, I, do exactly. I see Nickelodeon coming knocking saying, oh, I, I, see hey, this is what we're looking. I see Adult Swim. I see Adult Swim. Yeah, I do too. Something like that. So you going to put him on sure. Adult Swim? I, I'm thinking he's going to Nickelodeon. Oh. This guy's going mainstream. <laughs> this guy's in the new Smash game. The new Smash Brothers Yo. game. Yeah, this, guy, this guy's got... If I could this beat guy's the challenger has approached. Approach. This is a oh. money gimmick. Barry Bebop. I Barry Bebop fight versus the Cat Dog. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> this is a money gimmick. Money Bebop. That's the quote. Absolutely. Dollar um, signs in my eyes and in my veins. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, you can check out uh, his music on Spotify at the moment, which is uh, No Kids, No Babies. And uh, my life is so poggers. 
play that. If you need something to wake you up in the morning, that's one of the tracks. I always say, My Life is So Poggers. I have that as my morning wake up track. I, I can't. When does this come out? When does this podcast uh, come out? Uh, it comes out a yeah, week Tom. time from now. So okay. it comes on the 26th of September. By the time this comes out, I should have announced that there's going to be a remix for My Life is So Poggers. And that'll yes! be. Yes! That'll be, that'll be yes! coming out. It's remix! fucking. Sick. It's, it's fire. It's awesome. It's got a rap oh, verse on it. I love it. Remix oh, song when someone has to yell out, "This is the remix." Yeah, yeah. Uh, damn it! All right, hold uh, well, on. I gotta cancel. Damn we gotta it, add Charles, that back in. Charles, <laughs> Charles, how are you supposed to know it's a remix if remix. they don't clarify this is yes. a remix? Jason, this is the remix edition Real trap of shit. a song about pissing. About pissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, damn it! Oh my God. Like, yeah. It's your certified hood classic. Yeah. Um, but yes. <laughs> Get get your get your soft ears on Spotify and uh, follow the boy for that that remix dropping off there. Um, but uh, speaking of remixes, content remixes by uh, Miss Doe Jingles, what's happening on those platforms? You know what? I think I actually might scrap a video for for something that we talked about here today Ooh. Ooh. for for this for a spoopy season. Ooh. But um, I I've had something out for a couple of weeks. Um, go watch it. It's on YouTube. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> on my channel. Go watch it. And, and promoted by the actual kid of the uh, the main uh, the main star of it. That's a uh, that's a high level of praise. And, yeah, uh, that was if you know what if it doesn't get if that video doesn't get get one more view, I don't care. Oh, it's fantastic. If that was good stuff. We yeah, were not the, expecting that, but exactly. yeah. the legend of it? Bushwick Bill uh with Young Crip yes. and Colossal is crazy. Clown. Uh, exactly. Good old clown. Uh speaking of uh comedy clowns, uh Mr. Mr. Charles Carl, what's happened on your funny tubes? Oh, brother, I got everything going on. Uh, let's see, we're getting up on Spooktober, so we're going to go all Absolutely. spooky memes on Twitter all month. All right. So it's, uh, we're doing all that. I've got, uh, might do a little horror hosting. That's something I've always wanted to do. Full of our. So, uh, yeah, so like those old public domain horror flicks, we might do something with that. That's what That's I want to work on this month. Fantastic. And yes, uh, I'm continuously working on that cyberpunk show, but I want to say one last push twitch.tv slash Barry Bebop. Spotify, search Barry Bebop. Twitter, Barry Bebop boy. Make sure it's a boy. Put the boy on there because he's a boy. boy. Uh, Otherwise, you'll reach a Slovakian woman who hasn't I used know. her account in seven <laughs> years. Hell yeah. Watch out for Slovakian women. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And uh, YouTube slash Barry Bebop. Thank you so much, Barry. I do humbly, gratefully appreciate you getting this time in right before the subathon. So, Hopefully, uh, you have a fantastic time, and uh, I know great things are coming for all of us. And uh, you know what, you, you bloody the rising it tide up. lifts all ships. That's the oh, thing. Yeah. Everybody's on the show. Doesn't matter if you're the main event guy or the opening like dark match, like pre pre show guy. Like you're on the card. You've made it to the show. You're part of it. You and even down dance. to guys that are like the peanut vendors. Like they're there working too. Everybody's yeah. got a job. Lighting rig guys, editors, writers. You know, everybody has their gig to play. Absolutely. And make Hell sure yeah. the exclamation mark lemon uh, in Barry's chat for me. It's one of my favorite ones. And uh, thank you so very much. Everyone who's been listening, uh, Barry, thank you so much again. And uh, everyone listening, stay safe and stay weird. And we'll catch you next time. Mm-hmm.